Hey y'all and welcome back. Today we are doing a black rinse and sorry the light is blowing it out but we are using Clairol's beautiful collection in the color 1A also known as Midnight Black. So I like to apply my color with a bowl and a tint brush. Once you know you get your little concoction going in your bowl right here is where she has a lot of grays i know you can't really see them on screen but like her edges are like full of grays she like girl the grays are driving me crazy and i have a lot of clients who just have grays around their edges and throughout their hair and they're not ready to commit to that yet so we ain't not going to judge nobody for not wanting to you know have their grays out in these streets just yet so you know, it doesn't matter where you start applying the color. You can do whatever is the most comfortable for you. Me, I like to kind of like start on one side and work my way over to the other. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm going to start on the right side and I'm going to work my way over. Now, Clairol Professionals has regular color in the beautiful collection but this is from the gray solution pile so the gray solution one is the one that always busts the grays it gets rid of them i think i told you guys in my video where i did the client whose hair had matted up um during quarantine because she wasn't able to comb it you know her hair was gray gray and you guys saw firsthand how good it works i also expressed that clairol does not pay me to say these things i literally use things from the store the hair store that you're able to go and get that i know work tremendously so you know i just want to tell you guys what is the best thing to use so that you can go out and get it and try it for yourself now clairol beautiful collection and gray solution and regular beautiful collection are just semi-permanent rinses so they're absolutely safe for your hair the only thing about semi-permanent rinse is that for some people it only lasts five to seven shampoos but it's not harmful for your hair so you can use it as often as you want to some people can get a rinse and it literally grows out like a permanent color so it just depends on your hair you would have to really try it just to see um, how well it works for you and how long it stays for you but it is an amazing product right now i'm just going to take the bottle and i'm just going to pour it right onto the ends because now that i've made sure that i have the roots done i'm going to go in and i'm going to concentrate on the rest of the hair now a lot of people ask me well let me tell you this real quick the color kind of lathers like a shampoo so that makes it very very easy to distribute it evenly throughout the hair you see the lather that's coming up so i like to take that and just kind of smush it all throughout the hair it's really a fun process if you if you was in the art class in, in elementary school you're gonna love this <laughs> Now, this is what I want to say. This rinse is so gentle. The formula is gentle. And it's so good for your hair that even if you have chemically treated hair, like if you have grays coming into your blonde hair that you've dyed and you just want to use the blonde rinse to get your grays to match your blonde hair, or if you have a relaxer, a lot of people still relax their hair, it is totally safe to use. It is just perfect. See how good this stuff is? You just pull it through. Make sure the hair is saturated. You want all the hair to match. You don't want any brown patches or any grays left after you went through all of this just to get rid of them. Another thing I'm going to tell y'all is if you don't have grays, gray solution is more serious i think that it works so much better right now i'm just going to go in and put cotton around her edges to cause a barrier between her color and um her face because we don't want any color running on her face because sometimes it's hard to remove color from the skin so i just want to be proactive and put this cotton here just to kind of save the day just in case it's any mishaps but yeah um gray solution is just it seems like it just gets the hair 
color so much better. Like, they're both great products, but let me just tell you, you don't have to have grays to use this rinse. It works so well. So if you just want to, like, darken your hair like me right here, my hair is like this natural sandy brown, and I don't always love it. And dark hair makes your hair appear fuller, and the shine on her hair is going to be ridiculous. I can't wait to show you all that. I'm just taking some alcohol, and I'm just going to clean off her ear now because it's a little color on there. Um, and <laughs> I put her under the dryer for 30 minutes and now I'm about to blow dry. So here's the Satin Shield Serum. I'm going to put some on her hair. I put a little more than usual. Um, I know that looks like a tiny bit, but we talk about this all the time. It's going to go over her whole head. Even when I'm done rubbing it throughout her hair, I still have product on my hand. The heat from the blow dryer is going to evenly distribute it and it is going to cause a barrier between her hair and the high temperatures. So it's very important to use a heat protectant because you don't want to mess with the integrity of the natural curl. Now I'm just going to take a shampoo comb and I am going to gently separate her hair into the first section and start the blow dry. So today I put a little more heat protectant than usual because Lee has not been using heat that much anymore. She's been working on getting her curl pattern back and she's doing it in a transitional phase. So that means that she's not doing a big chop. She's just growing it out. So she's wearing protective styles for a while just to work on getting her curl pattern back. So I just put a little extra heat protectant on my hands to put it throughout her hair so that we can keep her on her good journey. I'm using a dimming petal brush. I know we've been using the other brush too, but the dimming brushes hold up a lot longer and more durable. I will put links below um, in the box for the dimming brush and I will put a link for the Clairol Gray Solution color. Now, let me just show y'all something. Whenever you are blow drying and you see the blow dryer causing the hair to just have this fog of smoke, that's one of two things. You ever be blow drying hair in the bathroom and the bathroom just smoky? Let me tell you why that is. One of two things. One, you either didn't rinse your conditioner out really well, or two, you put in a lot of product before the blow dry, which is what I just did. So anytime you see that smoke, it's not necessarily a bad thing, but if you wanna wear your real hair out and you want it fluffy and to move and have movement and body, um, you know, the less product, the better, because you just want it to be able to have that freeness you know and if it's too much product on there it's just going to weigh it down so a lot a lot of people ask me like how do you get the hair to move but it's it's literally you know it's too much product on it especially the the conditioner will weigh your hair down a lot faster than the heat protectant will so just be mindful when you are in the phase of rinsing out your conditioner just rinse it out really 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 well and that will help you have movement when it's time to press your hair Now, remember I told you guys that it was going to be so shiny and look how it is right after the blow dry already from the product and from the color. The color just works so well. And again, you don't even have to have grays to use it. So if I were you, I would try it out. If you just want to get your hair looking richer in color, like if you have that dull normal shine then arrange you and you don't have to get black you can get any color you have dark brown they have about 15 shades in the gray solution now it's time for a trim look at these ends oh my goodness and <laughs> so we're going to go in with our her strands of hair shears and we are going to get these ends together
Now, although Lee has been wearing a lot of protective styles, me and her live really far away from each other. So even when she texts me to get her hair done, she's like, where you at? What part of the world you in? Because I'm when I live in when I'm in LA, she's in Philly. When I'm in Philly, she's in LA. When when I'm in Philly, sometimes she's in Atlanta. So it's like we're all we never hardly catch each other. So when we do, she takes the opportunity to get her hair taken care of and those ends off and she She's really funny about like who she lets in her hair so she just waits for me she wears protective styles and waits for me and I'm not really mad at that you know so as you see it's already looking a lot better Now, you know, we got to get that nape. Almost everybody has this shorter layer on the nape. So we're going to go in and we're going to even that right on off. Every time I cut Lee's hair back here, she gets a chill. I think it's like so hilarious. <laughs> she a crazy person. <laughs> so I'm going to go in with my 22 titanias and I am just going to press Lee's hair straight. She only plans on wearing her hair out for like two to three days so she just was like just do it flat we're just gonna do it straight we're not gonna bump the ends i'm doing air quotes we're not gonna bump the ends we're just gonna make it super flat and just sleek Now to assist her hair in filling and looking fuller, I'm just pressing it in bigger sections than taking smaller ones because I don't want to break it down as much as I could if the sections were thin. So I'm taking sections about an inch, inch and a half, and I'm just going to go in with my comb and I'm going to go underneath and do the chase method. Now the chase method, when you put your comb underneath the hair like this and you follow the comb with the flat iron that is to ensure that the ends are all straight if you don't do the chase method you run the risk of crushing your ends in between the plates and sometimes if you ever notice you're like combing your hair after you pressed it and it seems like the ends are tangly that's just because you probably crushed your ends in the hot plates and they're just going all different directions instead of you doing the chase method and making sure that they are in unison I feel like the color is looking super rich. I just think I'm gonna go ahead and get me a rinse. I'm gonna do a black rinse. I haven't done one in a long time. And I always be like, I'm not gonna get a rinse just in case I wanna get some blonde. And it's like, the truth is, I never really dye my hair blonde because I don't know, it's like my hair doesn't like permanent color. And so it's like wishful thinking. Like, I don't know if I wanna dye it black cause I don't wanna not be able to do a blonde cause you don't want to have to wait. Like when you dye your hair black and then you want blonde, you got to wait for it to grow out. <laughs> so either that or strip it. And I definitely don't want to do that. So now I'll just spray glass spray and shine just to seal in that moisture. And I'm going to comb her hair out and that's it. Her hair is done. All she has to do is wrap it up every night with a silk or satin scarf because silk or satin locks the moisture in and the natural oils from her scalp, whereas cotton pulls it away. So make sure y'all have the right scarves. And um, that's it. She's probably gonna braid it up in a few days. So, you know, we didn't do much, but her hair is sexy, her ends are sharp, and she's looking healthy. Look, peep the shoulder shimmy. <laughs> it's something real freeing about wearing your real hair. It feels good to touch your scalp. And she's happy, period. <laughs> See you next time.